Get ready, Aaron, because we might be stuck on this stage for the entire session. Neat. <laughs> Welcome back to Go Face Gaming, everybody. It's yeah. Spoopy Month. It's Spooper Month. Um, so I was t talking with Mo, and he wanted me to make sure everybody... He wanted me to fill uh, people in more on some of his backstory. All right. Of, like, why he became evil. Yep. Like, we explained to everybody that he became evil, but not, but not to know why. Well, here's how Mo became evil. You ready, Phil? I, I assume it has something to do with rape. Well, uh, no. <laughs> not that I know of. Um, <laughs> well, as you know, we, 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 um, we raised Mo. <laughs> From, you know, found him in a dumpster, we raised him, cared for him, fed him, taught him how to speak and stuff like that. We explained that he immediately started in with, like, anus jokes and poop jokes and stuff like that, like, relentlessly. Yes. And then, what he, the evil started whenever we told him that was no longer acceptable. It was, like, to switch it up. Like, Jake not everybody wants to hear about anuses and poop all the time. Mm -hmm. And that caused him to, um, to kind of, like, to, to revolt. Because, like, he, that's, that's what he wanted to talk about, was, like, anuses and stuff. And we told him he couldn't. So he turned against us and built his evil lair to where all over the pit, all over his walls were, like, mur murals of, like, buttholes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, the lightning place, and that's his evil lair now. Because, like, he wanted to live the life he wanted to live, which was, like, uh, anus joke-filled poop the, stuff. The booty hole lair. That's the what he yeah, he, he, he declared it the booty hole lair. <laughs> And that's how he became evil, and he turned against us in that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a dick. What a... <laughs> what a dick. What a dick. Yeah, he's an... He's an until now, he's an evil mastermind. Pay attention to this route I'm taking, Aaron, because, like, you'll encounter the least amount Phil, of red Phil, I'm gonna armor. forget it in, like, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you'll encounter the least amount of red armor that way. Fuck. Wait. No, not game right, You got two more to go. All right. But yeah, so there you go, everybody. That's the that's how Mo tur turned evil, and he beats children. <laughs> yeah, that's not even like part of it. But for some reason, he started doing that. He has like evil butthole minions <laughs> and everything. It's just chaos. I miss the Mo we used to know. <laughs> just a just a just a just a. <laughs> Just a sweet, adorable black child. <laughs> <laughs> I have flashbacks all the time. Like I wish that we would have. Uh, like, I had this little like montage of flashbacks of finding Mo in the trash can, him going blaggle out, <laughs> and just just raising him over time, and just just turned evil. We should have just let him talk ah! about buttholes. We should have just, just let him talk about buttholes all that he wanted to. And bouncing dicks. I didn't mean to turn him evil. Alright. Alright, it's butthole clenching time. <laughs> Not it's always butthole clenching time. But this game, yeah. Oh shit! Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Ah, oh, oh. goddammit! Ah, oh, god fucking shit! Poof! Poof. Close call. No, I only got one hit left, and I got at least one more to go. So, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Believe in yourself, Phil. Not with this, not with the way I gotta approach this thing. I got shot, almost. If you got, would've got shot, you would've been dead, boys. Yep. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seinfeld. No, Home Improvement. Oh yeah, that was Home Improvement. I'm sorry, Tim Allen and Jerry Seinfeld are basically the same person. So. Revoke your 90s trivia card, now. <laughs> I didn't watch either of those shows, really. Me neither. <laughs> I just, there was not much appeal to me. <laughs> to them. I know they're both huge staples, but I just, I don't know. Didn't spark my fancy, really. I was more into cartoons. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I always probably will be. Ah, cartoons are cool. I had an epiphany and I posted it on Facebook. Like, Ed and Nettie, like, the, the Eds were constantly being sexually assaulted by teenage girls. You, you know that? Yeah, now. <laughs> now, that I, now that you've ruined that show. That was one of my favorite shows growing up. Yeah. It was Because good. remember, like, like, they always ran away from the cankers and they never consented to any of their stuff, so. So, bam. Yeah. Hashtag destroying your nostalgia. <laughs> 
That was a good show, though. Yeah. Oh, I liked it a lot. Ed Boys! What was that character's name? Rolf. Oh, yeah, that was it, Rolf. Oh. Ed the Boys. <laughs> Life has many doors! Life has many doors, Ed Boys! I just got to hit it right in my mis nostalgia stomach with that. Good show. I remember Plank. <laughs> that show was really off the wall. Ooh, man. Oh, man. How did you manage that shit? Because uh, I'm MLG. Oh, Aww. No. <laughs> and then you fuck up. <laughs> Don't worry, we're in a good position. The bosses are exactly the same, so... Not, not any harder? No. They don't take any more hits. And the dragon's pretty easy with the torch. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. shit. That was close. Woo. Yay! Well... You did it, Phil Boy! Well, I was wrong in the statement to where I said, uh... Where we might have to spend the entire session here. Right. Because we didn't. It's a good revelation. I didn't want to. <laughs> I want to beat the game. Stage 4 is pretty much exactly the same. So still infuriatingly difficult? No. It's, in fact, it's probably the easiest stage in the Neat. game. No, no, they're all like that way to me. <laughs> Ter terrible. I mean, the first the first half is just platforming. Platforming's clunky, but it's not anything infuriating. Platform gaming. Yep. It's kind of taking a back to seat to things, like shooters and stuff. When you think, say? No. Like, it used to be like the mainstream thing, though. I'm just saying that, like, it'll always be there. It's just not... It seems like stuff like shooters have taken no, the one line. I'd say it's making a comeback because, like, the people who played those games are now making those games. Like Shovel Knight and... No, those things exist. I'm saying just mainstream. Like, it's never going to go away. And Like I'm saying, it's making a comeback in the mainstream because, you know... Like Shovel Knight, with all the success that it's had, and by the way, we should play that game. I don't yeah, know. I've never played. I think it, we're so. the only Let's Play channel who has never played Shovel Knight. So I'm down for anything. Yeah, I am an open-minded individual. So yeah, yes. uh, we'll put that on the agenda too. I want to play Cuphead first, though. Oh yeah, Cuphead. Well, Cuphead's more of a shooter than a platformer. Like more of the. Uh, more in the Whenever, style of But one little I've seen from it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Earthworm Jim. <laughs> just something about it. I didn't like the Earthworm Jim games that much, honestly. Me neither. Like, I had I had pretty much zero motivation to play through the entire game, so. Like, I had a few of them. I just, I just didn't like the mechanics of the gameplay. I don't know. There was just something I just didn't like too much about it. Yeah. Music was okay. I like. I played that first level to, to death, though. Yeah, it was pretty hard. It was just something about like I remember, like I had the uh, Game Boy one, whichever one. I forgot the name of it, but I had it. I just remember like thinking like like ah, that damn. that his whip attack, the me the mechanic behind it. There you go. It was just like too stiff and not very effective. All right, minus minus start. I have to constantly remind you because... Because uh, uh, I'll fuck it up. <laughs> because if you do, I'm going to throw you off the second floor balcony. I mean, it's not too far down. It's like, I'll probably survive that. Not if I, like, throw you down head first. Yeah, but I'll twist mid-air. <laughs> and land on my ankles and break them. <laughs> Don't panic. Ah, oh, damn it. I got, um, blarged again. What the fuck just happened? You got glitched. What the shit? It's probably the TV. I don't know. What the shit? What the shit? <laughs> By the way, we haven't become millionaires and, and started and made, like, a whole, like, a whole house just for gaming. You just, you just let him hit you, did you? I just suck. Wait, where were you going with that millionaire thing? Like, we're not millionaires, and we're not playing this from, like, an office or a house made oh, just no. for made just for gaming and playing with, like, a sweet-ass CRT setup. No, we're still playing in my living room. Definitely not millionaires, still poor. <laughs> <clears throat> but like we said many times before, life's pointless, so it don't matter anyway. <laughs> Constant. 
constant reminders. I went in between episodes. I went and read that quote from Stanley Kubrick <laughs> from that Playboy article. The one about the meaninglessness, meaninglessness of life. Which is in the Playboy article. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I just read it online. <laughs> it was actually really long. Yeah. Like, I, I, I told you I was paraphrasing. Shit! You got frog. Yeah. But it, it was a really moving thing, though. Like, I appreciated it. You know he's... So, oh, uh, oh, fuck. He's, he's tailing you, tailing you. Like, you were just going for broke. Oh, well. Anyways, like, a lot of... The meaning behind his quote, too, was, like, maintaining that childlike wonder. Like, be a kid forever, basically. Yeah. And I think I've... I've always kind of had that philosophy, too. Like, growing up's a trap. <laughs> Where you have to, like, sell all your video games, part your hair, wear a suit. <laughs> Make you want to go back and live, live with your mom. It's like, Mom, buy me fudge rounds! Yeah, it's just like... Those were good, by the way. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just like, it, it, it hit me. It was, it was a good quote. And I've always believed in that. Like, keep as much of your childlike, you know, nature as you can. Because the world wants to break you. Because it's harsh and, and indifferent <laughs> and cold. But if you keep that childlike wonder where every little thing is interesting and neat. And you just, you, you create your own meaning, basically. Philosophy face gaming today, folks. Yay! Nice. Now we're gonna get green really hard. There's just never any silver lining to you. <laughs> you would be the absolute worst, like therapist. <laughs> the worst. All of your clients would kill themselves. <laughs> One, one session with doc, with Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit! No. I did it. It came full circle. Finally. I'm, I'm, those high school memories. I'm being triggered, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> but they would. They would kill themselves instantly. <laughs> like, every session is like, um, Doctor, it's like, I'm having, all, like, I'm having trouble with my family and... Life's just going terribly. It's like, well, you could kill yourself. It's gonna end eventually, anyway. So, like, you're right. Like, you always have like a pistol in your office for them to go on and end it. <laughs> ah, shit. I want to. Um. Oh no, it's just a, just points. Everything's made up, and the points don't matter. Yeah. Whose line is anyways? Great show, by the way. Yep. Loved it. It was one of my biggest inspirations in life. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen the, any of the new episodes? I think I've seen some. I've watched some clips it. on the YouTube's. The ones hosted by Aisha Tyler. Yeah, she's better than Drew Carey. Oh yeah, M why? Drew Carey was never funny to me. Oh yeah, and like a lot of times, like she yeah, she gets in on him, like not well, just during the end. Yeah, o occasionally Drew Carey would too, <laughs> except for he made him worse. <laughs> he just wasn't funny to me. <laughs> like he, on The Price Is Right, it's a perfect place for him. Because he has like that corny like, just like daytime that, humor. That corny daytime I'm, I'm, humor is just like, eh, he's just dead inside. So it's just <laughs> yeah. he's, he makes like he makes like ten million dollars a year. So like fuck it. it. I mean, I would. I mean, I would. I, I would host the show for ten million dollars a year, but I would make try to make it better. And if they told me I couldn't, then I would just quit and kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would end up getting myself fired because I would refuse to, like, water myself down. <laughs> Crazy. That was not... Or maybe you could just, like, work your way around it and just be, like, even drier than usual. Yeah. Just, like, be super passive-aggressive. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, find a way to stay within the parameters, but still, like... Like, beg the Maintain myself somehow. Like, beg the producers, like, not to, uh... Like, to incorporate a ban on that, uh... You know, bidding on... Something that's like a dollar over your contestants. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, where they go like 900, 901. Right. They should seriously make a rule like banning that. It's your turn, by the way. Yeah, that's to me is a glaring flaw in that show's like setup. Yeah, and it's gone on for like 50 years. Right. It's like one of the like I will give it props. Like it somehow maintained. Like Wheel of Fortune and stuff like that. Yeah. A lot of game shows like nah, they, that, they that die. was just unlucky. They die. <laughs> like Deal or No Deal. Um, 
other stuff. <laughs> that was just unlucky. What? Like that that spirit spawning on oh, you. Oh yeah, you get, you get right on top of him. Right on top of the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is I'm so sick of being alive. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. That doesn't go anywhere. That's a trap. Just That's like cool. growing up, yay! <laughs> Came full circle, yay, 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 yay! Be a kid forever. Eat, eat Cocoa Puffs and watch Saturday morning cartoons. I used to draw comics a lot when I was a kid. Me too. Like, me and my friends, like, we came up with, um... I don't know if I've ever said this on the show, but this is actually some of my humble beginnings. Um, me and my friend Garrett, we... <laughs> Alright, whatever. I want to talk about this anyway. Um, <laughs> me and my friend Garrett, like, we, we were obsessed with Dragon Ball Z. So we drew Dragon Ball Z comics a lot. And an assortment of comics. We even came up with our own uh, production company. Like, our comic book production company called Midget Productions. <laughs> Just because we you were, were like, because you were like 10 years old and you thought the word midget was It was, was funny. funny! It was a funny fucking word. <laughs> and it still is. Um... Yeah, so we called it Midget Productions. We just lost all of our little people subscribers. <laughs> our quest is to have no subscribers. Um, yeah, we had Midget Productions. And we would draw... Um, it never, we, never, we didn't get real vulgar with anything. We just draw, like, Dragon Ball Z comics and stuff. And, um, and that was, like, when I was a kid. So that was at least, probably, I would say... 20 years ago, maybe like 18 to 20 years, and I just, within the last few years, reconnected with m my friend Garrett from all that time ago. I'm like, hey, do you remember me? He's like, yeah, Midget Productions, motherfucker! <laughs> and he's like, I'm an elephant. I never forget. And that made me happy. <laughs> like, the fact that he remembered it just as fondly as I did was, like, really neat to me. I remember making comics a lot back in middle school. Yeah. Mine, mine date back to, like, Early '90s, when I back when I lived in Oklahoma, like we used to draw cartoons. Like, like that was probably like the beginning of like my creative flair, or like or my love for all things like uh, writing, you know, drawing stories and stuff like that. Was was that? Uh, I'm to th there was some other stuff we did. We'd always compare drawings. Uh, so, a lot of it centered around Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. They're just neat times, man. Neat times, man. Neat man. times, man. man. Is he going? No, he's... He's honing in. He's bum-rushing. No, I'm, I'm bum going rushing. to, I'm that going to go gay. to the left. Doesn't bum-rushing sound gay? <laughs> yeah. So does Dogpile. <laughs> Remember back in those days where, like, someone just randomly called out Dogpile? And a, pe a, a bunch of dudes would get on top of each other? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! My comedic timing is unparalleled. Dog play. I never participated in one because I didn't. I don't like being around people. <laughs> so a lot of people being on top of each other just just sounds like a anxiety nightmare for me. Because you don't like peopling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, speaking of which, have you ever had sleep paralysis? <laughs> uh. I don't think I. You know what it is? Yes. Like you just can't move while you're like, sleeping. You're awake, but you're paralyzed. No, I, it's absolutely terrifying. I had I had one of those last week. Oh. Dude, this shit's so fucking scary. It's just because you're literally paralyzed and you don't know what to fucking do. Talk about actual spooky stuff on Spooky Month. Yeah, dude. Have any of y'all out there ever had that? I would really like to know because, like, I know it's a. If you ever Fairly have sleep common. paralysis, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yes. So you really, oh, you really never have, huh? No. Not even during, uh, not even during the great illness of uh, 2013 did I have sleep paralysis. Um, I've, what I've learned of what causes it is like when, whenever your body goes to sleep, it is paralyzed. It keeps you from like sleepwalking. Like some people have deficits and they end up sleepwalking, but. Your body, it like puts it, some sort of chemical throughout your body that paralyzes it. And oh, what happens shit. during sleep paralysis is there's some sort of miscommunication throughout your body that, uh, like you wake up, but your body is still paralyzed. It's terrifying. We'll, we'll just allow Phil to go into butt clenching mode real quick. 
No! God damn it. I'm gonna drink this, uh, sunscreen. On the next episode of Go Face Gaming. <laughs>